Hello everyone and welcome to Between Plays. Okay, listen, this is just an update. Uh, basically two companies that um, I am extremely excited about. Um, basically it's ACDC, Extreme Vehicle Battery Technology. Look, they're putting up lots of specs. You got like the um, Ionics, you got the Titan, you got the blockchain that's inside there, the artificial intelligence for um, you know data gathering look um, you know just watch what they're doing with Echoville we are going to have a full video on ACDC but I am excited about this company absolutely and let's not forget the recycling that they can do with the batteries and the technology that's involved in there because what they have they have artificial intelligence that's within um within the technology look with the internet of things that is coming up in the future and the way things are going you could see that there's a big linking that's being done to um the outside world i call it basically um you know we're, we're linking up you know the digital world uh, with uh, the analog world let's call it that right so the digital world and the analog world they're linking it up, whether you're looking at it through like companies like Loop Insights, you know, digital passports, the passports, like if they're, they're looking at creating all these things, you know, uh, watching uh, shows this morning on uh, Bloomberg and stuff like that. And they were talking a lot about, you know, for international flights, if digital passports are going to be coming in. And, you know, there's a lot of new things happening out there. So when you look at something like ACDC, you know, don't forget, there's also a Biden presidency that's uh, that's up and running in there. And um, look, we're going to have to talk about Jivo because did you hear about uh, one of the co-founders uh, being uh, placed within uh, the uh, Biden team? So lots of things going on. And with ACDC, I am extremely excited about what it is that I'm seeing. All right. When you could put up specs, OK, and they say better than Tesla's home hub, they put their Ionics up there. Then they have the Titan which is basically for industry storage usage and all this other stuff. Look, it's um, it, it, it's something that's directly in line with the future, okay? Um, look, you got to do your due diligence and look at that. That's the first company and I will have a video all coming out on that. Um, I've already put a playlist together. Uh, if you go and look, you'll see at least what I think it was only one interview that I saw. Uh, with the CEO, so just go check that out in the meantime, and I'll link it up uh, at the end over here. Also, ESE, look guys, I researched the company last night. Uh, I had started, I looked at the whatever videos we have on there, and of course on Wall Street Reporter, uh, uh, we had Jack speaking to the CEO, and um, very positive stuff, like very positive stuff. The CEO uh, is really not afraid of speaking his mind and of stating where he plans on going. And, you know, some of the things that he says, too, I was just like, wow, this guy is really, really not like he like he's just saying it the way it is, you know, and that's cool. And I, I really I really respect that when someone can just say it the way it is. And that's just the way it is. Like he's even like, look, if you're not a tier one company, if you don't have this in line if you don't we don't we, we're not gonna bother like don't we you know we're just looking to you know do business with tier ones you know people who got names attached guys ese entertainment is already dealing with porsche red bulls on board i mean lg's on board I, go if you look i mean definitely we're gonna have a video come up on this but i just was like so excited about you know what is happening and, you know, I got like, you can hear the dinging in the background because these are like people that are like all talking about actually ACDC and ESE. So, um, guys, ESE is, I think it was worth, um, well, I can't, you know, the numbers are not uh, probably up to date. But the last numbers on the corporate presentation that I saw, they had put it up all, this was one of the videos that I was looking at with, uh, on the Wall Street Reporter. They were saying like it's at around market cap 18 million or something like that. And they were showing all the other companies what they were at, the comparables. And the comparables were so high. And he was saying, look, look at all the room we have to grow, all right? 
and forget about it. Listen to this, all right? Fortnite, I can't believe I said forget about it. But anyways, Fortnite, okay, Fortnite paid the number one player in 2019 over $3 million. Tiger Woods didn't get that for winning the Masters in 2019. And Novak didn't get that for winning the Wimbledon in 2019. They got less of a first, of a winnings than you know a, a young kid you know you know because I got some white here so for me he's you know he could be my son but you know he he made over three million dollars got to get my kids into playing uh, e-gaming that's for sure so when you really think about it all right the amount of money that these kids are making and the industry is growing in leaps and bounds in 2020. Look, the numbers are are astro like they're just astro astronomical. They're they're out there. They're just it's crazy. I I'm I'm like how this is an opportunity of a lifetime to get involved in a company where the CEO used to play in the CFL. All right, and let me tell you something. I'm I'm not you know my past. Uh, you know I I've done some stuff. I was in accounting. You know I worked you know, for a government, I, I've done different things. Okay. And, um, you know, I was, I, I used to, uh, you know, own my own stuff and I'm actually in the process of building my other things, uh, other companies. And, um, one of the things I've learned over my lifetime, all right, uh, closing in on 50, by the way, but one of the things I learned in my lifetime is when you're in an industry, all right, uh, especially, you know, uh, when I worked for the government uh, for for many many years, when you're in an industry, you you make friends, you make friends in an industry, all right. And the thing is, is the CEO has been playing gaming and involved in gaming for I don't remember if it was 20 years, but for close to two decades or something like that, all right. Then you have him in a CFL. You think he's not making friends across the CFL? He was in, like the Montreal Alouettes. He was he was in a different in different. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on this, so this is just quick here, all right? Then he's got Evander Kane. That's you understand when you're in a segment of something. I'm gonna know people in you know in a certain stuff. So you know I've done accounting in my past. So I mean I've been to university. Um, I can read financial statements. I have, you know, friends that, you know, are out in that area. Then I worked for the government and I did investigations and all this kind of stuff. So I have friends in that area and, you know, and it builds across. So you have your, you, you know, your children, your childhood friends that you grew up with. And then you have all these other friends that you make across the board. And then those friends have friends and have friends and have friends. And, you know, and you just get to know people within your industry and stuff like that. You think that people that are in, you know, across the sports spectrum are not going to give this guy a call, you know, like, hey, man, you know, uh, or people that used to play with him, you know, uh, look, Evander Kane's on there. You think that people that are not linked up with Evander Kane in the NHL are not going to be like, hey, uh, you know, um, what's going on with this company? What's, you know, we got people with deep pockets here, guys. <laughs> We have, he's got he's got friends now naturally all right when you're doing the stock when you're playing stocks you got to look at financial statements you got to see what's going on now I'm gonna get into all that on uh, on the next videos all right because I'm just I'm too excited I just had to get this out here because I did a lot of research on last night that I was verifying it and ESC well just really quick they're in a very good financial position all right they got no debts all right and they have money they're uh, already, you know, in Europe. They're getting big. They're they're known. Uh, they they op uh, FC Barcelona like FC Barcelona uh, opened up for them or something like that. They were involved. Uh, they they flew FC Barcelona up to Poland to guys FC Barcelona. I mean, if anyone watches soccer, all right, or football as they call it in Europe, if anybody watches this. FC Barcelona, all right, I wear Juventus, all right? But, I mean, that you're talking about the same type of quality here. 
FC Barcelona, you know, you know, um, Real Madrid, you know, you're looking at um, Manchester United, Manchester City, Juventus, Inter, like Inter. You, you're talking about. I'm only naming some. All right, uh, forgive me if I'm forgetting any of the big names out there. It's just because I don't have enough time. But you're 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 looking at you're looking at a lot of big deep pockets here you're looking at a lot of deep pockets here a lot of connections that can be made does ESC have a future in my mind it's it's gonna have the future that the CEO says it's gonna have I believe that I know what he says he goes you know I'm absolutely obsessed I'm absolutely obsessed and you know what when someone says they're absolutely obsessed and he goes if you knew the people that you know around me, if you asked my friends, if they know, I'm like that. When I want to do something, and when I want to do something, and I get absolutely obsessed about it, forget about it. I'm crazy. You can't stop me. Same thing with, I have a good friend of mine, a few good friends of mine. Once they put their mind to it, and they become absolutely obsessed, just get out of the way. And you know what? The way he describes himself and the way he says, if you know, if you were my friend, or if you know my friends, and they, you know, they would tell you, I believe him. I believe him because of the way he speaks. I, you know, and not only that, you don't get to be in the big leagues unless you give a hundred percent. Where I worked, I had to give a hundred percent to get there, physical, mental, the whole nine yards. When I was working for the government, you had to give everything, body, and mind. If this guy is saying that you know well if saying forget about saying this guy was on the cfl it's because he had to give a hundred percent of everything he had body and mind both of it because it goes together if you don't got the willpower if you don't have the determination you're not getting anywhere that's it that's all case closed this guy is saying that ese he's bringing it to the next level and i believe it with porsche on there with the names that he's got on board bringing on FC Barcelona, getting Evander Kane. He is positioning himself. He says he's got massive stuff coming through the pipelines. I believe it. You know what? I'm very bullish on ACDC. I'm very bullish on ESE. Um, just to let you know, in on this station here, all right, we don't do any pump and dumps. All right? We don't do pump and dumps. It's possible if a company gets high, like Air Canada got to a certain point, and the vaccines are not, you know, rolling out or whatever, at one point you sell, but they're not pump and dumps, okay? Their plays built on macroeconomics and, you know, basically what's going on in the world and positioning yourself. I don't see ACDC as a, um, and ESE as a pump and dump. I don't see it like that at all. I really believe that they have value growth attached to them. They're small companies or baby companies are in their, they're just beginning, but where are they going to be in five or 10 years from now? Well, naturally, it all depends on sales. It depends what's coming through the pipeline, whatever, but they are in line with the future. So, um, you know, make your plays. And at this point, the way I see the, the world, I'm doing a lot of research on vaccines. I'm doing a lot of research on the coronavirus, on the mutations, on the new variants. One's coming out of Brazil now, you know, and I'm just going... Where are we going with the planet? I mean, is Loop Insights something that people should take, you know, another, you know, position in? When you look at these type of companies, you're going, okay, well, I'm trying to figure out the future, I'm trying to make a, a research, predictive research, and, you know, where am I going to go with it? I mean, if, you know, if governments are looking to digitize, you know, passports and all this kind of stuff, and this is, you know, for sports venues, not just for international flights, well, then, of course, a company like Loop Insights, it's a no-brainer, right? Because if that's where all the governments of the world are saying, well, we're going to have to because this might be an endemic and, you know, every single year it's going to come up. We're going to have to tweak viruses, but uh, tweak uh, vaccines and blah, 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 blah. Well, then, of course, you know, why would they just go for a digital passport or a digital thing that you when you have something that not only has a digital aspect of tracking the virus, but to market to you at the same time. So even for Loop Insights, so we're talking about three companies here. 
you know, that also has a great future. I've read across some forums and some boards where they're saying, look, when the COVID goes down and it's over, Loop Insights is, is out. But it doesn't, I don't think this COVID's going to go anywhere. And you know what? Let's stop calling it COVID, all right? Because it is a coronavirus, but it's a SARS coronavirus. And that's where people get things wrong. They think they just put the word coronavirus and it's wrong to do that because coronaviruses are, we've had many different types for the flus and the common colds, all right? But this is a SARS coronavirus, severe acute respiratory syndrome, right? It's what we had in 2003. It's way more serious than all than the other ones. So this is why they're doing what they're doing. And with the lockdowns and all that kind of stuff, because it is more serious, all right? It is more serious. It's SARS, it's SARS. And in 2003, when SARS came out, everybody around the world was freaking out. Scientists and doctors were freaking out. And in 2004, when it went away, it only came back as what we know now, and it had to be extremely highly contagious, whereas the one in 2003 wasn't. And it basically went away on its own. This here is becoming endemic, they're probably going to have to tweak the vaccines. So if they're going to have to do that and it is endemic and we're going to have to live with it forever, well, a company like Loop Insights, and once a company like Loop Insights catches, all right, and it gains ground, the, even even if in three, four years from now, you know, um, they manage to really cure SARS coronavirus all, with all the new mutations and variants out there, in my opinion... I don't think that we're going to cure it. I think that it, just like I'm reading, it might just be a flu type virus that will be able to, an endemic. It's just going to, as they're saying, it, it looks like it might just become an endemic. There's so many different variants. Naturally, if we have a um, vaccine shot that will nullify coronaviruses especially this one here well then you know and all the all of the variants all of the different mutations that's gone through well you will vaccinate you know between 58 to 90 something percent of the population to be able to inoculate the population enough to eliminate it but is that happening now you know you gotta think about this you gotta you gotta do the research you gotta look um a lot of people saying endemic so therefore a company like loop insights is looking to be really 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 promising for the future and like i said once a company grabs hold like that you know um in three years i should say they grab hold or in sports venues and because we're going to want the world to open up and we're going to be we're going to be like yeah you know what like look okay i don't care track track everywhere i've been track i don't care track that i was at the tracks track that i was you know at you know in, in italy you know because i'm going to click to get into a plane click get out of the plane click you know, if I'm going into a sports venue to see Juventus play a soccer game or click, you know, that I went to a, a casino or a resort and, you know, you won't care anymore. You won't care. You'll give up that freedom of privacy in order to be able to go down south, in order to be able to get on a plane and fly to Italy or fly anywhere in the world. It, and then what happens is that as more people and it grows... You at one point you won't even need the coronavirus anymore. It'll just become normal, and you know you'll be able to get marketed to and the whole nine yards. So, and you're you're linking up, as I said in the very beginning of this uh, show, you're linking up the um, digital world with the analog world, and you're making it one. And the analytics can work through between both worlds and be seamless. And that is something actually that brick and mortar needs if you want the truth in order for brick and mortar to to survive they're going to need analytics they're going to need some new way of 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 getting out there they're going to have to because the future for brick and mortar cannot continue the way it is there's just no way it can continue that way you know in 2016 we saw it coming brick and mortar were just shutting down shutting down sears forever 21 all these places were just shutting down they were talking about 20,000 30,000 they were projecting 50,000 the next year and the projections were just astronomical through the roof and i remember just sitting there in 2016 2017 going wow this is not good 
this is really not good. So they need to do something to bring the two worlds together. They they have to. They they have. It's like almost like a, a no choice. If you want the economy to survive in both uh, hemispheres, well, you're gonna have to do something. You're gonna have to do something. So, anyways, this is my projections. This is this is these are my stock picks. This is what I'm playing. I am in ESC, and I'm long in it. I am also in ACDC, and I'm long in it. I mean, if you're putting up specs and you're putting Tesla next to your name, and you're not getting sued, and it's not being taken off, and no one's getting involved for you to take it off, to me that says you, you must be telling the truth. Because why hasn't a company um, sent you a letter saying, Get that stuff off of there because it's not true. I haven't seen that. I'm paying really close attention to see if that letter ever comes out and to see if they have to say, we are sorry, uh, we didn't mean to do anything, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. None of that's happening. None of that's happening. These uh, articles have been out for a while, all right? And let me tell you something. Usually companies, when they see something they don't like, all right, and don't, you know, and let's, okay. I know I'm going to read the comments. Well, maybe you know that tesla or whatever didn't know that that went up when a name like tesla shot up anywhere people start talking about people start knowing including the company itself all right and you know they i'm sure they looked over stuff you know i'm assuming of course but you know come on so look if and, and anyways why would a company want to do that why would you want to mess with one of the biggest companies in the world. I mean, have you seen their valuation? You could put like what, 10 car companies next to them and just Tesla alone destroys them all. Why would you wanna take a chance to put up something that isn't true next to a company that can squash you? Like just, you know, that's it, done, all right? So why would you wanna like squash you like a grape? Why would you wanna mess? So, you know, you put these things together and you're like, no, no one would take that chance. I mean, you really gotta be like insane if you took a chance like that and it wasn't true, you know? So, you know, you gotta like read between the lines too when you're investing. For example, all right, everybody thought Kathy Woods was crazy back in 2016 or whatever, or whenever it was that she originally put in tons of money in Tesla saying it's the future. While Tesla itself was having a hard time just keeping afloat, all right? Like, how many times did Elon Musk have to get out of his own pockets to support the company and save it? Think about it, all right? That is future projections. She has a gift. That is a gift, all right? So the thing is, is that you have to put things together sometimes. So ACDC, I'm longing ACDC. I'm longing ESE, ESE Entertainment. All right, um, for esports, and um, of course, Loop Insights is an excellent play. I don't have any money in Loop Insights right now because I've been waiting to see where we're going with this coronavirus, where we're going with this, if it becomes really an endemic. And I'm looking to see how the governments are playing it. For are you digitizing passports? Are you really going to go in the direction? I mean, I've read all the articles already on uh, Loop Insights. And I know that even in one article, they were saying that there were governments and everything were like pushing for it. So I, but I'm watching very closely because a company like Loop Insights, if the governments all jump on board and stuff like that, you're looking at a company that's gonna go through the roof. So whether I get in on them at 50 cents or whether I get in on them at $4, to me makes, to me, myself makes no difference because I know that a company that if the governments of the world and everybody's saying we need technology like this, this is where we're going you're not getting on a plane if you know you don't have a digital passport and you know loop insights has technology to just put all of this together all right and and then just a, just a fly so ecdc a uh, acdc sorry so extreme vehicle battery technologies ese entertainment for esports and of course naturally I'm keeping an eye, a very close eye on Loop Insights, but they are becoming more and more and more attractive as the days go on. I'm not saying that they're not attractive already. A lot of people have made their plays in there, and you know what? 
you guys are going to benefit absolutely for sure. Um, I had a more of a moral issue uh, about, you know, the tr whole tracing thing at one point. I didn't really, mm, you know, I was like, but you know what? Look, I'm jumping on board, man. I'm jumping on board. I, you know, I was watching just to, just to, and I'll tell you what made me change my mind. Okay. I, I mean, I wasn't ever saying that they weren't, but I was like 50, 50 on it because I really like the technology. I really like the whole marketing. I really like the bringing the digital to the analog world together. My thing was the privacy factor. I didn't like the fact that if I go to a venue, if I go to a bar, because if everybody jumps on board, whether I go anywhere, they, you know, you could be, you could be clicked if you're going to the pharmacy at one point because they're going to want to be able to market to you and all this kind of stuff, you know. So I was like going, I really don't like the fact that my privacy sort of like gets, you know, like enough that I'm always accepting cookies to go and read a web page. I am at the point where I don't even, I don't even look anywhere. It's like, okay, you know, if I'm going to read this web page, I'm going to need to accept the cookie. So I don't even bother. So accept them all. All right, I'm done. Like, pfft, I'm done. So the only thing that you have to do, I guess, if you don't want, you know, you, you know, too much to be known is you have a computer that you save nothing on that you just go to, you know, your websites and that's it. And then, you know, cookies track, whatever that you're on. So there's not much to track, but you can't link all your other stuff because then if you link every, all your stuff, and you know, it you know, shares your cookies and there you go. So basically <laughs> supposed to be short, but basically, so this is what made me change my mind. I was watching Coldplay yesterday. I, I have, uh, you know, I had one of their uh, CDs up here. So I got their, you know, I've been to every single Coldplay concert there is. All right. Um, I, I really, I love Coldplay. Um, I really, really, really wish they come back to Montreal and, you know, to Toronto and that, you know, we get to see another Coldplay, uh, you know, live event because the shows that they just, you know, bring is absolutely incredible. The colors, um, the uh, just the excitement and everything. And anyways, being at every single one of their concerts and living the colors and and the excitements that they bring with it, the jumping around, the explosions of all kinds of stuff. Um, I was going because I remember saying that I'm taking my kids to a Coldplay concert. The next time Coldplay is in Canada, I'm you know in Montreal. I'm taking my kids to a Coldplay concert. It's guaranteed. I want them to live that atmosphere. I want them to see that kind of beauty of of of, of just the colors at and the neons and it's just beautiful. So I was watching this video yesterday and while I was watching the video of Coldplay like um, live one of their Coldplay live ones and my kids were watching it too. My kids were their mouths were just they were just dropping because they were seeing all all of the explosions of it. My kids mouths were just dropping, you know, 5 and 3, right? almost six and four now so they're watching it and then i was just watching them and in my and in my heart i was like this has got to stop we need these kids need to go out these kids need to live and you know what if it means that i got to give up some of my privacy so i can take my kids to a coldplay concert i'm doing it 100 percent. and that there because i've been having that moral issue with it because I've been asked to do something on Loop Insights for a while now. And I have done many videos on Loop Insights. I've deleted them all. Because every time I get up to that thing of being, oh, they knew I was there and they know everyone that's sitting around me and all this kind of stuff because I've, I've researched the company to hell. That was my problem. And I was just going, oh, man, I don't know. But then yesterday when I was like, I don't care. I, I don't care. I, that's where I'm at. And that's where society is going to be at. Because we're going to want to go to Italy. We're going to want to go to France. We're going to want to go to Coldplay concert. We're going to want to take our kids. You don't want your kids living like this. So you know what? The future is that anyways. It's just us older fogies that are so attached to our privacy that they, what we don't understand all right, and where and that we have to accept and what we have to understand, and accept is a better word for it. Maybe understand is not the good word. It's accept. That when these kids of three and five years old grow up, they won't know another world of like, 
oh, it's you know normal to to click something and that you can get marketed to and all this kind of stuff. It's up to the parents to teach the kids how to do their finances and how to let them know, you know, uh, you know, you're going to get marketed to, but don't fall into that. You know, only you know get what you need in life and you know to do things a certain way. It's it's about building a, a, a framework, a foundation for them. But you think that in the future that that this is not going to be the way? Absolutely. Just like I was watching a David Bowie interview the other day and how David Bowie in 1999 was saying that the internet is a new kind of monster. It's not what you think. It's not just it's going to become a way of life. He for he foresaw what was going to happen. He predicted the future and it's there. And you know what? When you have companies like Loop Insights that can link the digital world to the um, analog world and you have something because they've been around for a while now but if you have something like the coronavirus SARS SARS coronavirus that's going to create an endemic because there's so many different types of mutations UK have their own type of mutations South Africa have their own type of mutations China has their own type of mutations Brazil has their own type of mutations the United States has their own type of mutations. Do you understand? You have a company on Loop Insights and they have a COVID tracker. And if they can digitize it into a way as it being a wallet for vaccines, you're not getting on a plane. You're, but the younger generation will accept that because they're already on the internet already. They're already giving up cookies. They're already, you know, on Twitch and on sharing on TikTok. And they're sharing their world. They're sharing their lives. They allow people into their lives. They allow the world into their lives. Just like right now, I'm allowing all of you into my life. Do you understand? So, this is where the world is going. So, naturally... A company like ACDC in EV tech, home hub uh, storage, industrial storage, blockchain, AI data, absolutely 100% because that's where we're heading in the future. And now Biden and as your president, forget about it. This is, and already this morning, everybody's basically on board for when Biden gets in. It's going to, like they need to, you know, he's getting back into the Paris Accord Agreement. There, it's going to be to rebuild the bridges. Actually, I don't even know if the bridges are, you know, if they're that hurt when Biden gets in. I think it's just going to be like, okay, let's go on business as usual. Let's go. Where we, And then you have the whole green agenda, which has been just look at what it's done in one year. So think about what what's going to happen over the next few years. I mean, did you see what happened now? Just this morning, I was reading on the Keystone Pipeline because just go read that. It's, Right away, you're like, uh oh, it's over? Really? Man. So you got to go look at these things. And the inauguration's happening on Wednesday, guys. It's not even here yet. It's, it didn't happen yet. It's happening on Wednesday. So, how fast do you think that these technologies are going to ground themselves and go up? Esports entertainment is here for sure. It's got compound annual growth rate, I believe, of 24.5, 25%. That's massive, billion dollar industry. Um, easily, ESE has a ton of room for growth. So I'm very bullish on them. And ACDC, like I said, uh, for extreme bat vehicle battery is just crazy. And then, you know, you take Loop Insights. And I'm sure that within the week or next week, because I think I'm just waiting to see what's happening with the whole coronavirus thing with Biden getting in. But, you know, once, <laughs> once it's been told, that this is you know for sure an endemic um i'll be putting in a, a great amount of money into loop insights as well so those are three plays which i thought was gonna only be two but that's what it is and we don't pump and dump here i had one in the comments seems like a pump and dump we don't pump and dump over here uh, i'm not interested in that this channel basically has been built for my children to learn how to invest how to diversify stock portfolio and it's also in conjunction with our webpage, www.betweenplays.com. Um, 
with my background in um, you know uh, university uh, management marketing accounting uh, was in a CA program and at the same time I worked for the government investigations and um, other work for very many 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 years and I, I'm also in real estate and I retired very early and I'm actually doing this instead of doing a in case I'm not around anymore because with the whole COVID stuff and everything like that you got it you know I have two young kids I wanted them to know how to invest and stuff like that so instead of saying well in case I'm not around anymore well you know you you should learn how to diversify your portfolio and do this kind of stuff I didn't want to do that I didn't like the whole uh, um, morbidity of it or the darkness of it you know everything like that you know that's why I got comic books up here and everything like that because it's for fun all right and that's why between plays stands for research prepare plan and execute okay no emotional plays that's why I say stay strong no emotional plays make sure you research if you're gonna get out of something go back read the articles do the research and then get over it make sure that what you're getting into you're there for longs you know the growth of it you know your expectations as if you were no you knew exactly how you if you're gonna play options on it which way you're gonna go so that's why I built this channel so therefore this is a stock entertainment channel all right these are our stock picks their opinions and I always tell everybody do your own due diligence make sure that you research your stocks research your picks and of course naturally if you have a hard time in the stock market and stuff like that this is an entertainment channel you should seek um, advice from a financial advisor and that is of course extremely important so guys I'm out have a great day I will have videos on ESC I will have videos on ACDC and I um, will hopefully in the very near future start doing interviews with CEOs or investor relations of companies. Have a great day. Stay strong. I'll see you next time and I'll have those videos coming up. All right, buddy. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. We'll have many more to come. Whatever you do, hit the subscribe and the like button. But hit that subscribe button in order for us to continue doing what we're doing. We need to bring up the subscriber and the memberships over here. And always remember, when you're doing any investment, whether it's in real estate or in the stock market, anything in life, at Between Plays, what we always say, it's our motto, research, prepare, plan, execute. Okay, stay strong.